Get cozy with me, go get a blankie, because I'ma help you, girl. I'ma help you be a productive mother, okay? Because I know you're stressed out. I know you're wondering where all the time in the world goes and why you can't get anything done and just everything is falling on your shoulders and you feel like you're gonna explode. I get it. I'm in the same place, me and you both, girl. Being a mom is hard and there are so many things we have to do as mothers. It's like it doesn't ever end. But I'm gonna help you. I got five things. Five things that have truly helped me to help me be way more productive and just feel better about myself in my home and just everything else that's going on in my life okay and the last tip girl that last tip you're gonna be like I like her so be sure to stick around for the last one because you you're gonna need all of them but the last one the last one's gold the last one's truly gold okay so let's get right into this video okay Tip that I truly, truly, truly stand by, and I really think you need to do it. Okay, you need to do it because it'll make being a mom so much easier, and you'll be way more productive, and you'll get so much more stuff done. Okay, because what do you spend so much of your time doing during the week? Huh? You probably spend so much time cooking and cleaning. Okay, so much time cooking and cleaning, and I get it. But pro tip, girl, I have been doing this for years years okay i've been doing this since way before i was even a mom and it has always saved me so much time i need you to meal prep i need you to meal prep you don't gotta cook if you don't want to okay or if you don't cook if that's not your thing i get it okay cooking all the time is exhausting i get it okay but meal prep for yourself and for your kiddos and just your family okay meal prep go out to texas roadhouse go to chick-fil-a go to wherever and just buy a bunch of stuff okay buy the food in bulk and then put it in meal prep containers because now you're good okay i think you should cook yourself because it is cheaper but if you don't have the time to cook yourself i get it i but i meal prep twice a week i'll meal prep on a sunday so then monday tuesday wednesday and thursday I got food and it's totally fine. Fridays, I'll make it like a fun day. Maybe I'll go to Chick-fil-A and I'll meal prep that. Or I'll go to like Texas Roadhouse and I'll get a bunch of food and I'll meal prep that. But that alone saves so much time. It saves so much time and you can use that time to go do whatever else you need to do. Cause girl, I know you got stuff to do. You got other stuff to do. You can't spend all your time cooking, okay? And cleaning everything up. No, 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 no. Meal prep, meal prep. It'll save you so much time, I promise. Personally, if you cook yourself, it'll save you money too but honestly let's be for real it's not gonna save you that much money so if you don't wanna cook and prep your meals yourself fine don't do that there are also services that have that sort of stuff i think the services can be a little pricey so i've never personally done those but i've always either cooked myself or i'll go get a bunch of food from somewhere else and i will meal prep that and so i don't have to worry about food because that is something you're gonna worry about okay because your kids gotta eat you gotta eat your family's gotta eat everybody's gotta eat okay meal prep i promise it'll save so much time in whatever way you decide to meal prep make it fun make it fun get the cute little glass jars make it aesthetically pleasing for yourself in whatever way that is because those little things that you do like buying cute jars or whatever is going to make you feel good about the whole meal situation will just naturally put you in a better mood and you'll be like oh i can get this 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 and this done today and that's a win that's a win go you mom and if you want to cook yourself i do have really easy meal prep ideas that don't take that long okay i am not one that's going to be cooking things where you need like 10 different ingredients like no i don't got time for that i'm not a chef okay the stuff i make is good the kids are gonna like it you're gonna like it it's gonna save you some time and you don't gotta go buy a bunch of like random ingredients you know like balsamic vinegar i don't use that i used it one time for a recipe and i haven't used it since it's probably expired i should probably throw it away and you probably also got a bunch of stuff in your cabinets that you bought for like certain recipes i don't know no 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 none of my recipes are like that if you go down into the description i have a couple of my recipes listed down below Low, I also have a whole playlist of meal prep ideas for you and the kiddos, okay? And they're easy, they're easy, girl. They're easy and they will not take you that much time. They'll also save you money and they're easy. And who doesn't like saving money and doing something that's easy, okay? Tip number two, get dressed in the morning. I promise you, it makes all the difference in the world. I'm not saying go do your hair and makeup. I mean, get out of your pajamas. Get out of whatever you were wearing to sleep that night. Okay, don't wear that again. Don't wear that all day. You're gonna feel like a slob. How do you expect to be 
productive when you feel like a slob. That's a big no. Okay, don't do that. You have to get out of whatever you slept in that night. Do not wear that all day. Because you're just gonna feel meh. And when you feel meh, you're not gonna be productive because you feel meh. Really think about it. When you get up and if you're a working mom or you're a stay-at-home working mom or whatever the situation is, right? You're gonna change your top at least, right? Like you're not gonna show up on a Zoom meeting and you're not gonna go into the office in pajamas. You're not gonna do that, okay? So when it comes to being productive with your own day in your own time, don't you want to also feel good? Don't you feel like you should show up for yourself? If you can show up for other people, like a boss, your little minions, your partner, family, if you can show up for everybody else, why can't you show up for yourself? Why can you not show up for yourself? You are so important, okay? And if you are not showing up for yourself, of course you're not gonna be productive. You're gonna feel like a slob all day because you look like me, all right? So at least change out of whatever you were wearing to sleep that night, okay? If you're gonna change from one baggy t-shirt to another baggy t-shirt, fine. Let it be a cuter baggy t-shirt. You know what I mean? I'm not saying go and get all dressed up and dolled up to be at home with the kids all day, no, no. But you can put on a nicer shirt you can put on some shorts. You can put on like an, oh, a gym outfit. Put on a gym outfit. Something that's gonna make you feel good. So now your head is like, all right, well, we're starting the day. What can we get done today? I promise you will be so much more productive just by getting dressed in the morning and getting out of your sleepy clothes. Don't walk around in the sleepy clothes. That's a big, no, don't do that. If you feel good, I promise you naturally are gonna get so much more stuff done. You're on a roll. You wanna get stuff done. You're like, I got this i'm that mom make yourself feel good you deserve to feel good you deserve to look good and i understand that maybe you have a newborn maybe you have a toddler maybe you have a lot of kids you got a lot going on it does not take that long to change out your pajamas girl it does not take that long okay you can do it you can do it and i promise your entire day will look different every morning get out of that clothes okay going right into number three make a checklist okay if you are not a very organized person and your brain is all scattered and honestly let's be for real if you're a mom your brain's all scattered anyway because you have like a mental checklist but girl you know that checklist is like all over the place you know you're gonna miss something you know you're gonna drop the ball on something or you're gonna have to do it really late at night or just whatever it is right the checklist is there but it's all scrambled up okay so what i like to do is keep a checklist on my fridge okay all the stuff i need to get done just that day don't write a checklist for the whole week don't do that okay and i'm not talking about like appointments and soccer practice and like those things no 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 like things you actually have to get done that specific day the mommy mental checklist is great right we we know what's up there we know what we gotta do it's all in there but i truly believe writing stuff down will make you more accountable it will make you more accountable to those things you are gonna look at that checklist and you're gonna be like oh I still haven't done that. You're gonna be letting yourself down if you don't do it. Cause now it's written down. It's different. Once it's written down, it's different. So that has completely changed my productivity in so many ways as a new mom. Because yes, my mental checklist is up here, but I also wrote it all down. So now it's up here and looking at me on this piece of paper, right? And it's making me feel bad, okay? The guilt in my body is like, why did you write all this stuff down today? You know you're not gonna do all this stuff, okay? Why did I write all this stuff? stuff down i was looking at me and i was judging me can you feel some sort of way okay that's gonna make you do the stuff that you need to do okay because your mind checklist and your notebook checklist are just gonna be like hey what's up like are you gonna do it or not because if you don't do it you're gonna have to do it tomorrow and if you don't do it tomorrow you're gonna have to do it the next day you're eventually gonna have to do it whatever it is okay so get the mommy mind checklist down onto some paper because it'll make you more productive okay i promise it'll make you more productive and make it cute make it fun make it your aesthetic whatever makes you happy write it down in a cute little way put some stickers on there if you want you don't have to make a boring checklist it doesn't need to be all sloppy take some time and actually write it out because when's the last time you wrote something with your pretty handwriting girl you know you probably got some cute handwriting that you haven't seen in forever okay i used to write such cute notes back in school and i would love my handwriting and all the color coordination why don't you do that anymore right that stuff kept you accountable in school and it kept you productive in school school you'd write all that stuff down you'd look at it again and you were so proud of yourself do that for you now you need it now i love my magnetic checklist i've got all the colors honestly i only keep it in two colors i keep it to red and black because i kind of just like a simple checklist i don't want too many colors 
because then I just get overwhelmed. And every time I go to the fridge, there's the checklist looking at me and I'm like, mm -hmm. I will do it, I will do it. And then when you get to finally check it off, that is a good feeling. You're gonna feel so good. It is gonna be such a good feeling, okay? So make a checklist. It will make you so much more productive as a mother. Tip four, girl, set realistic goals. Set realistic goals. You know you cannot do half of the things on your checklist today. That, don't, no, don't do that. Because when you can't get it all done, you're gonna feel so bad about yourself okay and why would you do that to yourself why would you on purpose make yourself feel bad that's not cool you have to set realistic goals don't put 17 different things on a checklist it's not gonna happen it's not gonna get done you're just gonna be pissed off and annoyed and overwhelmed looking at that checklist and then mad because you didn't get it all done don't do that set realistic goals for yourself every day if you truly want to be productive you need to really sit down with yourself and be honest you need to be honest about whatever goals you are setting for that day, okay? If you've got a soccer game, you've got gymnastics, you have to do some work for yourself, you have to go walk the dogs, you have to go get groceries, you have to do the dishes, and on and on and on. If there's already that many things on the list for the day, girl, take laundry off that list, take dishes off that list, okay? That already sounds overwhelming. You do, it's okay if the dishes sit in the sink for a little bit, and I know your anxiety is probably like, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. It's okay. It's okay. I promise they're gonna be there tomorrow. They're not going nowhere. They're gonna be there waiting for you tomorrow. It's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself and truly set realistic goals for yourself, okay? Do not lie to yourself. Do not tell yourself that you're gonna get all these things done today. When you know, while writing this list, or in your little mommy minds list, in your head, you know already you're about to have an overwhelming day, think about what you can take off that list. Truly think about it what will be okay if it didn't get done that day you know what i mean you cannot put that much pressure on yourself because if you're doing that you're not going to be productive you're just going to be overwhelmed you're going to be stressed you're going to think about all the stuff you have to do instead of thinking about all the things you've gotten done give yourself those wins how do you expect to be productive if you're being so mean to yourself you're spending so much time this little negative bubble that you have going on here and you should be admiring all the things that you've actually gotten done and all the things that you're in the middle of getting done and all the things that you know you can definitely get done that day, okay? Give yourself those wins. We need those wins. Us mommies need those wins. You need that. They make you feel good. Who doesn't want to feel good? So you gotta be honest with yourself. Can you really get all that stuff on your list done? Honestly, be truly honest with yourself. Because a lot of us have these cute little lists and we have so many things on the list. But then when it comes down to the end of the day, you didn't get all of it done. And then how do you feel? Like you didn't do anything. Now, how is that being productive? It's not. It's not. It's not being productive. We're trying to be productive mummies right we're trying to be productive mummies we're trying to get this stuff done everything's already overwhelming and a hot mess every day anyway so you might as well set realistic goals for yourself to give yourself those wins okay it's important you need them and finally the last one tip number five girl say no say no say no you can say no to people okay you do not have to be in 17 different places at once first of all it's not possible second of all you're going to drive yourself mad and you're not going to be able to get what you want to get done because you've committed to so many different things and you don't even know what to do with yourself anymore because you're pulling yourself so thin you can say no you're allowed to say no and i know that's hard i know sometimes you're like i can say no like what are they gonna think of me can you start having all these intrusive thoughts and just pure madness goes on in your brain thinking about what would they think if i say no who cares you and your family come first okay you do not need to pull yourself so thin to make everyone else happy okay you do not need to do that you don't need to come up with excuses saying hey i'm sorry i'm not gonna be able to make it oh you know that just doesn't work out but i'll catch you next time it is not that hard it is not that hard there's so many nice ways to say no without it being too awkward hey i'm not gonna be able to make it i hope you guys have a beautiful time i'll catch you next time oh my gosh that sounds amazing unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to make Make it but cheers have a beautiful time oh that sounds so much fun and i'm sorry i hate to miss it but i'll have to catch you at the next one i won't be there done done you don't need to give people so many excuses you don't gotta come up with all these things and you don't really gotta lie to people it's okay to say no it's a 
okay to say no for your sanity and because honestly you'd rather do something else it's okay use your time wisely your time is so precious it is so precious and if you truly do not want to be somewhere you don't need to be there nobody is forcing you to be there or maybe it'll hurt people's feelings maybe you'll feel a little bit bad about it but let's be honest everybody's gonna get over it okay they're gonna get over it we're all adults here a million things going on it is okay to say no because you really gotta practice saying no because it will change how you go about being productive in your day-to-day -day being a mother okay these tips have truly helped me be such a productive mom so i had to share them with you and i hope you find them just as helpful and they help you be a more productive mama okay just remember you are so important okay how you feel is the most important thing when it comes to running this household and being a mother okay you got this trust yourself you can do it you've been doing it and now you're gonna be even more of a productive mama okay and you know what's crazy trying to be a perfect mom is so insane okay we put so much pressure on ourselves and society puts so much pressure on ourselves and i talk about all these insane myths about being a perfect mom in this video over here so be sure to check out this video about being a perfect mom and the actual realities of trying to be a perfect mother okay i love you very much and i will catch you in the next video okay goodbye Wish you were as big as I wish you were as big as yeah I wish you were